What's going on guys? So today I'm actually going to be talking about opening this box uh, and is it really worth $40? Uh, we're going to find out today. Uh, I have one, two, three other of these boxes and I have a couple other V boxes up at the top. But this one has the pack kind of slipping. Uh, so I just thought, you know what, this one's calling on my name. Um, and I'm going to open it up carefully so I can keep everything kind of nice. Um, just for collecting purposes. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to open this guy up. I'm going to weigh out the packs and, and just for keeping uh, data and information. Um, even though at this point, guys, I don't think there's any science to the pack weights. Unless they're like significantly heavier. Alright, so you just want to slide your thumb under there. You can get that out nicely, you know, you don't have to destroy the box. Now, I want to do a booster box opening, but I want to wait till I have enough subscribers for that to be worth it on my end. Um, we're at 32 subscribers. We're just now passing up a thousand views total, which is really, really cool. But given the fact that there's almost a hundred videos, that's still not where I'd like to be with the channel. Uh, I appreciate you guys for the support you've given me thus far. But I will be opening up, you know, uh, 20 to 30 to 40 dollars worth of items uh, in each video. We got this nice little V star uh, that my buddy Penny uh, was nice enough to just give me. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, I'm not sure if it's for the game. If you know, when you use a V star effect, you put it on on the field or what, but um, so let's see. Inside of this box, it says, lead the dragon types to victory with Dragonite V. Dragonite V is an intelligent and powerful Pokemon capabling, capable of circling the globe in less than a day. It's pretty cool. Trainers rarely see this Pokemon and few are lucky enough to catch one. Now this sought after dragon type can stand beside you with the Dragonite V box You'll get the fierce but kind-hearted Dragonite V in both playable and display sizes, as well as extra goodies from Pokemon TCG booster packs. The Pokemon TCG Dragonite V box includes one foil promo card featuring Dragonite V, one foil oversized card featuring Dragonite V, four TCG booster packs, and a code card for the online game. Okay, so that's everything that's in the box. Uh, it's really nice. I want to keep everything for the artwork down the road. And I will actually be putting it kind of uh, back how it was um, after I'm done opening this up. Uh, I definitely don't want to damage anything. All this stuff's been sitting in here pressed down. Alright, so we've got our, our V card that's in there still. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way for me to get this. Okay. So we take out this little piece right here and it has just fallen right out it's a beautiful promo um, doesn't look like it has any kind of crazy edge wear centering is pretty good um, this is a really beautiful card this is definitely a beautiful card uh, I can definitely appreciate the hollow on this guy um, it would be sick to pull this out of a pack, but it's just as good to be able to just have it um, from this set. Let's go ahead and sleeve him up. Okay, we've got our nice sleeve for it now. Um, Shred, this attack's damage isn't affected by effects on your, uh, on your opponent's active Pokemon. It does 50, it's pretty good. It has 230 HP. Dragon Gale, 250. This attack does 20 to each of your benched Pokemon. Oh, that's super, super tough. It does 250, so it pretty much can knock out uh, any of your opponent's Pokemon. But yeah, that's uh, doing 20 to each of your Pokemon is still a bit of a caveat. Um, set that back in there. Okay. We get this awesome uh, Jumbo card, which will be great for Aspen when she gets older. I can have her kind of play with these uh, Jumbo cards, so that's pretty neat. Um, we've got 
uh, we've got a Chilling Rain pack, a Vivid Voltage, well, a Chilling Rain pack. We've got the Galarian Moltres on there. We've got the Vivid Voltage, Zarude, I want to say his, his name is. We've got our Evolving Skies. And we've got our Bolton with the Fusion Strike. We've got our code card. So what I'm gonna do is actually keep the jumbo card in there for the purposes of keeping everything nice. And we're gonna just slip that right back in there. Um, oh, oh my. I know I seem really OCD and that's because I am. But I also think there's value to everything, seeing where Pokemon is gone. So keeping stuff uh, in these nice boxes, uh, even if I wanted to do a gift for one of my um, for one of my buyers, this would be a great way to gift something to do some repacks and tell them, hey, I also threw in a V box with some packs that I personally made for you. Uh, I hope you enjoy everything. Um, and then I would do something, uh, obviously, like, you know, rip this in half, uh, just so that nothing nothing happens down the road with the closing of this box. But now to touch up on it, now that I think about it, if you open this carefully enough, this is really easy to reseal, guys. So if you're buying these online, definitely be aware of that. Definitely be open and aware of that. Uh, when you're buying these V-Boxes because they're really easy to, you could easily glue these back and have it look like it's sealed perfectly uh, and put, put other packs in here even uh, or just, you know, resealed packs. So uh, if you're not buying these uh, from your local Target, Walmart, whatever, uh, I would definitely be more suspicious of buying these. Um, I know there's less counterfeited, faked, resealing stuff happening with the newer sets, but we're starting to see it happen more. Um, it's definitely more of a booster box thing, but you know it, you could do it with that box too. So let's get right to it. So we've got each of these packs. I'm gonna four of these packs. I'm gonna weigh these out right now. Um, I've got my new scale here, the uh, super accurate uh, King Palm scale. So first, I'm gonna weigh this Bolton pack on the first scale. So 22.3, we get 22.26, pretty accurate, um, 22, 22, got the Zerud from Vivid Voltage, 21.4, 21.43, the Bolton, yeah, I think the Bolton is the heaviest one so far. This Evolving Skies feels a little heavy. 22.4, 22.38. Okay, so let's do those last. And let's open up Chilling Rain. Um, people really don't like this set. And I'm not entirely sure why. Um, oh yeah, this pack is opening exactly the way it should. No need to worry when you're buying uh, retail. Um, we're going to keep this pack art looking nice. Ooh, and we got our uh, white code card. Um, so we are in for something good here, guys. Now, what I'm interested to see is uh, what, I, what I saw with the tins is that in the tins I opened, all three packs were uh, white code card packs. So I don't know if there's something to that, something more to that, uh, but I got really good cards out of the tins. Um, you know, I wasn't crazy impressed, but Pokemon doesn't owe that to me. Uh, it's all randomized. You're basically buying lottery tickets. And if you get something good, great. But I wonder, with these V-Boxes, do all of the packs have the white code cards? Uh, anyways, this was our lightest pack, and it had the white code card in it. So... Let's go ahead and one, two, three, four. Be very careful with these. Don't want to nick that rare card. Okay, guys. 
All right, so we've got the uh, dark energy. We've got the wacky. Uh, Hatrum. Water type, and that is uh, Drizzle. Uh, we've got this other water type, Snow Runt, which evolves into Glalie. We've got Venipede. We've got this uh, Snow Snover. That looks like Slowpoke. Uh, Crab Abominable. Yeah, Crab Brawler. Uh, ooh, we've got this uh, Heracross. I really like Heracross. Ooh, and this is a reverse. Uh, this is a reverse Hollow Heracross. Ooh, nice, nice. Um, and this is our Tornadus uh, V Max. Okay, I have not seen Tornadus V Max. So that was Chilling Rain. Um, Man, I just can't get I just can't get that Blaziken. Uh, I'm happy with this V Max card. Um, it is a V Max, so it is not the V. So it's probably I'd say worth something like ten dollars, um, maybe more. Obviously, can go up in value. The centering is great. Um, the card itself is in really really nice condition. Uh, just so you guys can see this a little bit better, this is the Tornadus V Max. Um, I am not a fan of this card. Uh, I'm not a fan of a lot of a lot of the newer Pokemon, and y'all know this. Uh, but that's okay. That doesn't mean that it's not just as fun. Uh, that's awesome. Um, Tornadus V. Okay, Tornadus V Max. Okay, kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. So we've got our first. We've got our Dragonite V, our Tornadus V Max. And I'd say between these cards, we're in at like something like thirteen to fifteen dollars. Uh, we've got this uh, Heracross uh, Reverse Hollow that looks really nice. Um, I really like Heracross. I'm a huge fan, and I like this artwork. I just wish the rapid, the single strike wasn't there. So let's put that there. Okay. Moving onwards. Okay, the next heaviest pack is the Vivid Voltage with the Zerud artwork. So yeah, we already weighed this guy out. And if it's if it's proper, it's going to be a little bit of work to get it open, but then it should just very easily come open and you shouldn't see really any glue residue at all. If anything, you'll just see a little bit of uh, fading on the inside. Um, so let's see. And we got the dark code card. So it will not be all rares uh, in this box, which is a little bit of a bummer. I thought I was onto something there. That would be great for Pokemon to kind of guarantee that. But let's see what we get. Maybe we'll still get a cool rare. Grass energy, trainer. Uh, oh, we've got this uh, Matang, which I definitely wanted. Uh, Giraffe rig, uh, which is a cool artwork for sure. It's an uncommon. Um, Choodle, Riolu, uh, Psychic, uh, that is Chimichu, Chimchu. Uh, what is that, Ninjask, a Ninkata, Voltorb. Ooh, nice. So I've already gotten one of these, but I will take it. I will certainly take it. Uh, it is a Reverse Hollow Dialga, uh, and then Terrakion. So this is kind of like a bull, bull type Terrakion. And then we got our, this is a pretty banger card. Um, I really like this Dialga. I didn't play uh, Diamond or Pearl, but I really like Dialga, and I can respect that he's kind of like one of the legendary types. And that is uh, that is our Hollow, our Reverse Rare. Uh, it's pretty sweet. So I'm saying we're probably sitting at 15, 20 bucks on this box so far in the value you get. Okay, let's open this guy up. Definitely not feeling inclined to open any of the other boxes. And maybe I'll feel that way about the Sword and Shield ETB. I was thinking, 
I will do another video today, another opening, because I have the day, because uh, our, um, my wife's sister, so Aspen's aunt, will be watching her for the day, and I have to make the most out of the day with that information. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, so it has the uh, dark border, which means there is a hollow in here. So we are uh, two out of four um, are uh, gonna be rare cards. So half of the box is good, just from what we know so far. Okay. Get a grass energy. Where's that guy? Swad Loon. Okay. Trainer. Mm. Trainer. Oh, we've got that spider type. Dew Piter. Uh, is that Meowth? Meowth. Uh, what is that? Is that Onyx? This Onyx looks really cool. I love when I get an artwork. Uh, from a Gen 1 Pokemon like this, and it just looks really cool like that. That's what makes these packs uh, fun for me. Uh, Choodle. Uh, Shroomish. That's cool. Gen 3. Uh, and Pangaroo. Pangaroo from Pancham. Uh, and it is the reverse. It is an uncommon. And we got our Tessarina V. So, not a huge fan of, of this card in particular. Um, again, not huge on the newer Pokemon. Really looking for the Mews uh, and the Rayquazas. Um, but we got Pangaroo, Pangoro, and we got this Tessarina V. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna throw this in a sleeve. So we've got, um, that's probably a $5 card. The VMAX is probably $10. Uh, we've got these reverses, which are probably worth $5. Again, probably more like 20 bucks. It's all on this pack. If this pack is good, and this is the heaviest pack, if this pack is good, then that could mean that it, it's well worth it for you to open up or even purchase these, um, these uh, V promo boxes. Um, I don't think this is anything good though. I don't see the code card that I was looking for. Nope. So dark border uh, code card. So we already know it's not going to be too crazy, but let's just see what we get. $40 just flushed. Uh, oh, cool. So I have Dainu. Uh, this is Zuelus, Zuelus, so that's pretty cool. These are pretty cool uh, uh, Pokemon. I actually dig that newer Pokemon, it's cool. Uh, trainer, Trainer, Rufflet, Drowsy, Gem 1, we've got uh, Flabebe, I'm getting so tired of Flabebe. Uh, Rock and Rolla, Psyduck, um, Eskew, which is our reverse, and we got Ampharos. Uh, it's a cute art though for this Ampharos. Nice, really nice. I like that Ampharos. Anyways guys, that is a wrap. Um, I might do another video doing a, a Sword and Shield ETB, see if we get anything good there. Probably not, uh, but you never know. I haven't opened any Sword and Shield products yet, so that'll be fun if I do end up doing that today. Um, I seriously want to open a Evolving Skies booster box. I just am trying to muster up the courage to go ahead and rip one of these things open. Um, you know, once you do that, there's, there's no going back. You kind of get addicted to opening all those packs. What I might do is open a booster box and... Um, not open uh, all of the packs. What I might do is open a booster box and open like five packs, you know, just kind of just start to get into it. Uh, anyways, peace. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we talked, that was the uh, Dragonite V box. Um, in a nutshell, uh, we did get a V Max card. It wasn't one that we really wanted, uh, but that's all good. Uh, it was still fun opening this up. Um, and I will definitely be wondering what's in the other ones, but I will not be opening those. So, 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, tune in for the next videos. Peace.